Max, how has it been getting to get some opportunities to line up at wide receiver in this new run and shoot offense? Uh, yeah, it's cool. It's special. Um, obviously, I didn't really do that much in the air raid last year, more of just catching balls out of the backfield. So uh, catching balls from the slot is it's definitely fun. And uh, it's it's going to be it's gonna be a good time because uh, I'm definitely ready. I, I, I'm liking the routes a lot. Uh, there's going to be some some good plays for sure. <laughs> And from the outside, it seems like the three quarterbacks are still sort of working in with the ones. How has that been impacting you, um, sort of having a changing body next to you? Yeah, uh, obviously, you got to just know every guy's strengths and weaknesses so you can rally around them. And, uh, yeah, today uh, it's been, it was a mix of quarterbacks for, for all my drives. So I think overall they all had a decent day, but there's still a lot of room to improve in, in many spots. Thank you. Joel McHale, go ahead. Max, uh, Coach Rolovich said a little bit ago that the offense seemed to take a step back this scrimmage compared to last week. Uh, just from your perspective, what did you see out there today uh, that needs to start improving? Yeah, uh, today the offense just was sloppy, low energy, didn't look good. Uh, we weren't playing good football, and you're not going to win games if you play bad football, obviously. So uh, we got a lot of work these next two weeks if we want to we want to attack Oregon State the way we do. So uh, we got to just take it day by day and focus harder in practice and work a lot harder because what you do in practice applies directly to the game. So today, uh, I don't know if it was a bad week of practice that reflected our performance today or what it was, but uh, yeah, we got to we got to just keep working and get our hands in the dirt and get after it. You were named uh, team captain today. Congratulations, by the way. Uh, speaking of which, with that role, when you see the offense go out today and do kind of have a maybe a lackluster performance or maybe it's a tough week, as a leader of this team, what's the message to the guys in the locker room? Yeah, I mean, on a day like today, it's just play the next play. I felt like uh, offensively, a lot of guys are putting their head down, and uh, you can't do that in football. If, if you have if you have a high or a low play, you gotta you gotta just play the next play because it's it's a long game. And uh, yeah, I felt like after a bad play today, it was just kind of sucking the energy out of the, the offense, and you can't have that. You gotta focus on the next play. You gotta so uh, my, myself and the other captains, we can do a better job rallying the guys and bringing them up and keeping us going straight. Thanks, Max. Brenda Green. <clears throat> Hey Max, um, just uh, speaking of, of being named captain today, just just what does it mean to you to uh, receive that honor? Yeah, uh, that's a that's a high honor. Um, knowing that my teammates picked me as a captain, it, it, I mean I've worked I've worked hard, and knowing that I'm someone they look up to, it, it definitely means a lot to me. But uh, I gotta just continue to keep working hard and improving myself. So and then I gotta bring bring all them up with me because uh, it's a team sport, team game, and I need every one of them as much as they need me. So. I mean, just how would you, you know, obviously you've been through a few quarterback battles at WSU. Just how would you assess where the quarterback battle is now compared to, you know, what it's been like in the past, just in terms of, of where the quarterbacks are and, you know, where where, uh, where where you think that battle is progressing? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a tight battle. Like I said last time you guys talked to me, uh, it's close. And some guys are having good days and other guys are having bad days. Uh, I think today... Jaden had a better day than Cam and Gunner, and uh, but that doesn't mean tomorrow Jaden can't have a worse day. So it's it's a day by day thing, and it's it's going to be a tough choice for these coaches, and I know that, and I know whoever whoever we go into the game game one with, uh, he's gonna be he's gonna be ready, and we're we're excited, and we have his back, and whoever it is, we're we're gonna we're gonna rally him, and we're gonna has play. it been like this? For you in the past where there is uh where the quarterbacks are still so close um this close to, to game time or is this a different experience for you yeah i think with leach it was similar uh he didn't really he didn't really make it clear till the week of the game at least for us was that surprising last year by the way that leach came out and did name a starter because normally he, he doesn't do that so that was kind of different last yeah year. it was a little bit different i know with i think it was with gardner it was a little bit later um yeah, uh, I think there's pros and cons in picking your starter earlier. I mean, your team and your starting offense can rally around that guy quicker and get used to him and his reads and all everything he does. But uh, obviously, keeping the battle going and strong is always a good thing too, as it keeps keeps guys competitive and playing their best. 
Would you rather know a starter sooner rather than later? Or do you think that it's going to be a situation where you're probably not going to know it until, until right before the game? Yeah. I mean, whatever is best for the team, but for me personally, probably, probably working with the starter sooner or later would be good. Just, just to get those reps with him, um, get him comfortable, get comfortable with him. I know all the wide receivers as well. I'd want to get comfortable with whoever the guy is because each quarterback's a little bit unique in their own way. So I think picking a starter earlier has, has more pros than cons in my opinion. Thank you. Theo, go ahead. Hey, Max, how has Jameer Calvin kind of adapted to, to, to the outside receiver spot? And what's it like to, to just see him on the field again for, for the first time really since the Alamo Bowl two years ago? Yeah, I almost forgot how good of a stud he is. I mean, that guy's – he's electric, to say the least. Uh, seeing him at the outside is different. I mean, in the past, at least with Leach's air raid, we really only had big bodies out on the outside, and Jameer is obviously a smaller guy. But uh, – I think I think it compliments him well. He's he's fast and he's quick, and he he's been making a lot of plays. So I'm really excited to see him uh, finally get a chance to go back on the field and make some plays again for the Cougs. We've talked a little bit the the the, the last couple of practices uh, with Coach Rolovich about the leadership council. And obviously, he he, he kind of named the 17 guys yesterday. What, what's kind of the significance of that group, and what's it mean to be a part of that group uh, this year? Yeah, uh, it's definitely different than anything we did in the past. Um, it's 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 pretty cool because. It keeps transparency uh, around the team good. Like if someone's feeling some some certain way about something, uh, they'll they'll talk to someone in the leadership council, and we'll be sure to talk with Coach Rollo about it. And it just, it just kind of keeps the locker room open and uh, keeps everyone on the same page. It's it's good. I think it helps build team chemistry and keeps us closer.